Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. And in this video, we're going to help this level 1 noob unlock CDK and reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using star code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. With the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a question. How do you unlock Cursed Dual Katana? First, you need to unlock Yama. Second, you need to unlock Toshita. You need 350 mastery on both. But guys, just a reminder, this is a level 1 to max video, which means we need to start from level 1. So first, we're gonna buy a katana. Don't worry guys, sword is easy to grind in the first C because like fight styles, it has M1. So at first, we're gonna defeat bandits and with the help of your M1 and your first skill, Quiet Rush, reaching level 15 is a piece of cake. Yes guys, we're gonna reach level 15 with the bandits. And after that, stat check first, all stats will go to the sword. Okay, next up, Fountain City. Fountain Strat first, you need to lure Gali Pirate. Use your M1 to damage a Gali Pirate. Guys, for the first kill, it took me two minutes. Yes, two minutes, but it's all worth it. With just one kill, I reach level 26 and mastery 32. Okay, so all stats will go to the sword. And you're gonna continue grinding here until level 60. Okay, so once you reach level 60, let's check our stats again. So I added some stats on the melee and defense, 15 both, okay, and 150 sword, next up, the desert. So here, our first target is the desert bandits. We're gonna grind here, the level 75, you're gonna unlock your exit skill, air slash, here it is. And at 75, next target, desert officers. So same strategy as always, target level is level 90. Okay, grinding is really fast, stat check. Nearly 15, defense 40, sword 215, next up, frozen village. First, locate the ability teacher in the cave. Buy everything, especially the enhancement because this one increases the sword damage. Okay, so now, go to the snow bandits and you're gonna continue grinding levels until you reach level 105. And after that, next target is the yeti, the mini boss in this island, technique, Dash plus M1, dash forward guys, to avoid his attacks. Okay, you just need to repeat it. Here goes, dash M1, there you go. Just repeat using this strategy, and if he attacks, use your air slash, okay? So you're gonna do server up here until you reach level 130. Okay, so once you reach that level, next stop is the Marine Fortress. So here are only enemies, the Vice Admiral. Is it easy game or no? Yes, it's very easy. Just lure him in this area of the map, the fortress, and use your M1, okay? You're gonna use wall strat. And again, don't forget to server hop. See that, guys? It's very easy. So after this, we're gonna stop grinding for a minute. At level 200, yes, level 200, we're gonna unlock something, guys. This quest is required for you to unlock the observation hockey in the jungle, but our target is a legendary sword. So again, the five green tiles, after that, get the torch, right? And after that, head to the desert, and in the desert, use your torch to open the door, get the cup, go to the frozen village, get some water, there you go, give it to the sick man, go back to pirate village, talk to the rich man, defeat the mob leader, go to the rich man, and get his emblem, right? After that, you will open a door and you will fight the Red Saber Expert and you will get the Saber. So guys, I decided to use this sword until we unlock Yama Sword. For those who don't know, this is the sword used by Shanks in One Piece. So let's head back to the Marine Fortress and continue defeating the Vice Admiral. So same strategy guys, just lure him, wall strat, and that's it. So Gamer Nom, what is our target level here? Target level is 220. We will unlock our first skill, the Deadly Rush. There you go, at Mastery 50. And again, at 220, we will leave this area. Okay, so let's check our stats first. Melee 55, Defense 95, Sword 510. Next up is the Prison. So in the Prison, we have three bosses. The Warden, Chief Warden, this one. So we're gonna use Wall Strat on all of them. So I'll check this out. There you go. Warden, very easy. 
same with the Chief Warden at 230. There you go, just left clicks, and that is enough to defeat him. And finally, at 240, you can start defeating Swan. Same strategy, guys. Don't forget to do server hop. And we're just gonna focus on defeating bosses, okay? I hope everything's clear. So, what is our target level here, Gamer of the Prison? We're gonna skip the Skylands. And we're gonna leave this area at 350, okay? So, we skip the Skylands. To go straight to the Magma Village. So, here, our target is the Magma Admiral. So, here it is. Technique dash plus M1, but you need to dodge to the side, okay? Dodge easy skills, there you go, and after that, use your own skills. Just repeat it, and that's it. During your grinding phase with this boss, you will unlock your X skill, the triple slash. So let's show it, there you go, it really looks good. We're gonna leave this area at 425. After that, next stop is the Underwater City. Okay, so target here, guys, let's make it faster. Fishman Lord, technique, just lure him here and use your M1. <laughs> and that's it, okay? <laughs> so grinding is really fast. Uh, just a reminder to server hop here until you reach level 500. Okay, so once you reach that level, we are leaving this area. But let's check our stats first, okay? For the stats, melee 150, defense 250, sword 1103. Next up is the Skylands in the upper yard. Target is the Whisper. So guys, check this out. You're gonna use your M1 left clicks and after that, wait for him to attack. Okay, there you go. After that, go back, use your attacks, and repeat. Oh, by the way, by this time, I think you can upgrade your Saber into V2. So how you do that? First, you need to get 1 million bellies and defeat someone who is at the same level or higher, okay? Here is the moment that we unlock Saber V2. There you go, we are fighting someone. He's using Flame Fruit. Okay, okay, X skill. Boom, okay guys, this will appear. Something weird has occurred to your Saber, okay? So anyways, let's go back to grinding. You're gonna leave this area at 625, okay? 625, we're gonna skip other mobs. After that, back to the Fountain City and defeat Gali Pirates. So we are back here. Let's check this out. Two skills plus some M1 is enough to defeat this Gali Pirates. So I decided to stay here and grind until level 775. I assure you, this is the fastest and easiest way. Okay, so after that, make sure to do the prison quest. Let's check our stats first. There you go, melee 250, defense 400, and sword 1675. After that, head to the middle town, and then talk to experienced captain, and welcome to the second sea. We are one scene here now to unlocking the CDK, so let's make things fast. So first, grind Swan Pirates. Okay, use your observation hockey, don't forget that. 1Z, X, and M1 is enough to burst these enemies. So guys, you're gonna continue grinding here until you reach level 925. After that, we are moving to the green zone. Yes, another, we skip lots of quests. Fajita is our target. Always do server up with these bosses, okay? So target level here is level 1000. There's also a chance to get the uh, gravity cane, yes. So should you use it? I still prefer Saber because I really love Shanks. So at level 1000, next up is the snow mountains. Target here is the snow troopers. So say same strategy with this one. Just use your X and Z skill and some left clicks. And that is enough. This area is where you can get the superhuman fight style for those who don't know. And guys, we're gonna grind here until you reach level 1150. At check, melee is 500, defense 650, blocks, roots, oh no, sword, 2300. Next up, hot and cold. Target is my favorite boss of all time, Smoke Admiral. You can use wall strat here. Why is he my favorite? Guys, he's very easy to defeat. I don't know why. <laughs> there you go. Make sure you have hockey. There you go. So server up here until 1250. Okay? Okay. So once you reach that level, we are moving to the next area, the cursed ship. So guys, the target here is the ship deckhands. They're very easy to defeat with the use of wall strap. Check this out. There's a wall in between us and you can defeat them using left clicks or your skills. Target level here is 1350 and after that we are moving to the next island, the Ice Castle. Here we have two enemies. First is the Arctic Warriors 
technique, two skills, and some M1 left clicks is enough to defeat them, you're gonna do this until level 1400. Because at that level, you will unlock the Ice Admiral quest. So strategy here, another wall strat guys, yes. <laughs> so check this out, there's a wall, use left clicks, and that's it. Very easy, sometimes you might get hit, but it's fine guys. We have observation hockey and lots of HP by this point. Okay, so there you go, left clicks, left clicks, skills, and that's it. Okay, server hop at the level 1475. There you go. And after that, guys, next island is the Forgotten Island, the final island in the second sea. So target here is Tidekeeper if you want, guys, if you want. But let's report this dude first. He's exploiting, cheating, guys. Check this out. He's on top and damaging the enemy. But thank you, in a way. I defeated the enemy with his help. So last 25 levels here. Or guys, actually this is hard. Just focus on defeating the sea soldiers. You're gonna defeat them one at a time. So there you go, that's one. Because if you try to lure four at a time, there is a high chance that you will get off. Okay? So at level 1500, make sure to do the Coliseum quest. Yes. Make sure to finish that, and after that, go to the green zone, talk to Mr. Captain, and guys, we're in the third C, time to unlock the cursed dual katana. Okay, so the first sword that we're gonna unlock is the Yama sword. I'm gonna show you where is it located. So guys, here it is, in the Hydra Island. There you go, look for the waterfalls, and go through it. Okay, destroy this door, and you will find monsters. So let's defeat them first. And in the middle of this area, you will see a sword. Guys, that is the Yama sword. And to pull that, you need to finish 30 Elite Hunter quests. So to get the quest, you need to head to the Sea Castle. There you go. And locate the Elite Hunter. So he will give you quests. Like for example, this one. You need to defeat someone in the Great Tree. There you go. So head to the Great Tree and defeat him. And that's it. You can do Elite Hunter quest every 10 minutes. So in between, what I did is I grind Pirate Millionaires. They're not that hard to defeat. And after that, Elite Hunter quests, Pirate Millionaires, Elite Hunter quests, Pirate Millionaires, until you reach level 1675. Let's do some stat check first. Sword is maxed. Melee 650, defense 1975. Next up, Hydra Island. But don't forget to do Elite Hunter quests, okay? Still defeat them while grinding the Island Empress. We are going to skip other mobs and focus on her. For the strategy guys, it's very easy since we're using sword. Wall strat is the best approach here. See that guys, you're damaging her. Always turn on your observation hockey and everything will be easy. So guys, again, Elite Hunter quest. Empress, Elite Hunter quest. Until you defeat or finish a total of 30 quests. So there you go guys. You have defeated 30 elite enemies for me. And finally, Let's defeat these mobs. And finally, after 30 Elite Hunter quests, you can now lift the sword. Okay? Just keep on clicking it. Don't worry, you won't die. There you go. And once you equip it, you will get a title, the Demon Mode. Okay, so now time to grind masteries on this sword. And for our first kill, yes, it is the Island Empress. Okay? Oh, by the way, we're gonna leave this area at level 1750. Here are the stats, max sword, defense, 2200, and melee, 650. Next up is the Great Tree. So here, guys, we're gonna focus on the rear admirals. Technique here is you're gonna defeat one at a time, okay? It's very hard for us to fight the Kilo Admiral because, again, you only have one skill and you're using sword, okay? So we're gonna unlock the Hellish Slash here. There you go. So we're gonna grind here until level 1800. Once you reach that level, we're gonna grind the floating turtle. Our target here, Fishman Captains. At first, you're gonna defeat it 1v1. And after you unlock the Infernal Hurricane, you can now lure 4 at a time. And grind a lot faster. So guys, our target level here is 1975. And after that, we will now go to the Haunted Castle. We are going to defeat Reborn Skeletons one at a time. Again, guys, one at a time. That's a lot easier. And finally, level 2000. Now we can unlock Tushita. So now head to Yama area, facing the door to the left. Just jump there. There's a hidden 
passage and you need to ask someone to summon Indra. You can do it if you want but ask someone to make things faster and then you will start a quest. A barrier will be broken, the door will open, now you need to light 5 torches in the floating turtle. Okay, I will make things faster, there you go. This is just fast forwarded guys. And after that, you can now defeat the boss. Loma is the one that holds the Tushita sword. Okay, so there you go. Fast forwarding. There you go. Finally, let's equip the Tushita sword. One more quest. But let's change our avatar from Shanks to Odin now. There you go. Now we need 350 mastery on Yama and Tushita. And reach level 2200 to start the CDK quest. So at first, I decided to grind masteries with the Reborn Skeletons. Don't worry guys, you only need 300 masteries to unlock both the skills. Okay, so let's say we've unlocked the skills. There you go. Now we're gonna continue grinding, okay? So if you're gonna ask me, GamerNom, is it good for grinding? Hmm. For me, it's fine. That's why I'm GamerNom, right? <laughs> so at 2075, we're gonna go to the Sea of Treats, yes? We're going to grind Peanut Scouts here. So Gamer Nom, what is the best approach? I think just do 1v1, yes, versus the mobs. Because it's kind of hard to dodge all of their skills. And finally guys, with this mob, we are going to reach level 2200. Which means we can now start unlocking the CDK. So now we are going to head to the Turtle Island. And at the back of the mansion, I'm going to show you the exact location. Here it is. There's an NPC named Crypt Master. Now he will open a door for you. Make sure that you've gathered or achieved all the requirements. Okay, now you need to finish six quests. Yes, three on both Yama and Tushita. So guys, you can choose on what quest would you want to start. Is it the Yama scroll or the Tushita scroll? So for me, I did the Yama first because it's harder. So first is the Pain and Suffering quest. Just get hit by an NPC, don't die. Some say you should, but guys, just get damaged. You will get an Alucard Fragment. Next up, the Haze of Misery. Guys, this is the hardest quest for me. You need to beat all mobs with this purple circular thing. There you go. Don't worry, even if you don't have Observation Aki, you can still see it. Check this out. There you go, guys. You need to beat all the mobs with this one. Guys, check the whole third C, okay? Don't forget the Yama area. Because most of those players who ask me, they forget to check this part, okay? So once you defeat all mobs, you will get another Alucard Fragment. Next up, the Fear Reaper. So, technique here, head to the Haunted Castle, ask someone or get Hollow Essence and summon Soul Reaper. Let him kill you, yes guys. You will let him off you and you will be teleported in the Hell Dimension. You guys light the torches, all torches possible, and defeat the mobs, and after that, head back to the real world. <laughs> You'll get an Alucard Fragment, and that's it. Next up, Toshita Scroll. First up, the Dark Legend Quest. So this is kinda easy to be honest. You need to talk to three luxury boat dealers. So just click the next and pardon me. He will remember your face. So first area is the Chocolate Land, okay? Again, the Luxury Boat Dealer NPC. Next up is Hydra Island. Do the same. Next stop is the Sea Castle. Do the same, guys. Okay, you will get Alucard Fragment with that. Next stop, Sense of Duty. Very easy, guys. Just finish one Pirate Raid. Try to ask uh, other players who's playing the... Give you the final blow. Just to make sure. Okay, you will get another one. Next stop, Soulless. Guys, you need to beat Big Mom in less than 2 minutes. Okay, less than 2 minutes. And after that, you will be teleported in the Heaven's Dimension. Okay, so same with the Hell Dimension. You just need to light some torches, defeat all mobs, and then go back to the real Bloxfruits world. After that, you will get the final, uh, what do you call this, Fragment, Alucard Fragment. You will make the Alucard Gem. There you go, and you will open the door and where you will fight this mob. The first skeleton boss. Okay, there you go. Guys, make sure to use Yama or Toshita to damage him. <laughs> okay, so once you defeat him, you will finally unlock the cursed dual katana. So guys, let's head to the Sea of Treats and grind some masteries with the Cookie Crafters. 
Also, you can grind levels if you want. But what I did here is grind masters first and unlock all the skills. Yes, I unlock all the skills so that I can showcase it to you, right? Because we only have 200 levels remaining <laughs> to grind. Whew. What a journey, guys. Now we've unlocked the revolving Ravager in the Slayer of Goliath. There you go. So let's try it. So let's do four. Here is the revolving Ravager. Guys, one of the enemies that you lured will be highly damaged compared to the other three, okay? Only one will get the full damage. This is the Slayer of Goliath. 18k damage, guys. Okay, gamer now. So, is it good? Hmm. For me, guys, not bad. It's more of the process on how to unlock it. Again, shout out to the developers. Very good update. I'm still playing this update with new accounts. There you go. Slayer of Goliath. Guys, I'm really excited about the next upcoming updates. So, okay, back to grinding. You will reach 2300 here. Let's check our stats. Defense Sword is max, melee 2100. All the remaining stats will go to the melee. Now we will head to the final island. Yes, the Chocolate Island. And fight Coco Warriors. So again, Slayer of Goliath. Ravaging, what they call this? Revolving Ravager. But if you're gonna ask me, I don't know guys, just you uh, defeat one at a time. <laughs> so guys, I have a question. Should I make a God Human 1 to God Human Max or Soul Guitar? Just comment it on the comment section and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is my longest video. Game Run, I'm out.